Okay, um, this is Batman showing off his frog monarch, so go ahead. Alright, first we'll start off with Substitute. Substitute is probably one of the most broken cards in the deck because I can tribute a monster on the field and just search out for a frog monster, which does all kinds of stupid stuff like the Duke Frog, the Swamp Frog. But three Substitutes, three Swamp Frogs. Swamp Frog does whenever it's summoned. I can ditch a frog from my deck to the graveyard, which is really broken. Like you, unless you go basically go ditch Treeborn. Three Duke Frogs, just because they're broken. I mean, 2,000 defense, and like I said, you had to attack him. It's a really good card, unless you cycle through your frogs and just get a lot of bliss. And then, of course, the two tree worn frogs. Frogs are awesome. You have one, two, three battle faders. So basically, there's no OGK going on at all against me. Then you have, of course, Dragodia and Gore stops up two case. Now we're getting to our Monarchs. Of course, Staple, three Kaisers. Got to. And of course, three Rises. Yeah, really good cards. Go. Three Testalos. Three Light Darkness Dragons. Really good card. They make your opponent waste a lot of stuff and usually wins games. And then my personal ticks have been Dark Dust Spirit. This card is so amazing. They, they never see it coming. Spells. Brain. MST. Heavy, of course. Then you have one, two, three soul exchanges. And then pot. You can pot your monarchs back, or else you can do all your little shenanigans with the frogs. Fill your graveyard up for pot. Then traps. Only three traps. Two threatening roar. And one phoenix wing wing blast. Yes, I run 30 monsters, but you'll be surprised how much this thing will just train wreck through everything. 